Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching today. My name is Hannah from our Crazy Fun House and today I wanted to go through a day of Core D. So Sunlight now calls this HBLD for History, Bible, and Literature, but I still call it Core, so forgive me if I'm using a term that is outdated. I just, I can't get over that habit. It just sounds easier to say, it just makes more sense to me. So. I will call it Core D for the remainder of the video, but in case you're confused, it really is HBLD now. So, okay, so if you're wondering how much time would you need to spend in a day of Core D, um, it really, I wish I had a number for you, but it honestly depends on so many factors for that day. For us, it fluctuates so much. I mean, I could say, yeah, it takes us five hours to go through every subject, but on a good day, maybe we'll get through it in three hours. I mean, so it's just really hard for me to pinpoint a time. So anyways, let's just pick a day, a random day in Core D and see what a day looks like and how much work that is. I'm gonna be showing you the books, I'm gonna show you the pages that are assigned, any worksheets. I just want you to get a really good feel for it. Um, if you're somebody who's looking into purchasing this core, if you're just curious, about how much work it is, you don't know much about sunlight, or for whatever reason. So let's open it up and let's just pick a random day in the binder. Let's go to week 16, sure. Okay, all right, I just needed to fix the, the zoom on the camera so you guys can see it better. Let's, let's look at this day, okay guys? Let's look at day 62 of week 16. So real fast, Something I want to note is that we got the four day schedule. As you can see, there is the option for a five day schedule. It will change up a little bit um, as far as how much you're doing every day. We chose to do a four day schedule because we do a lot of field trips and I feel like it was a better choice for our family. Okay, so the first thing that we start off with is Bible. As you can see over here, this whole tab here, this is Bible and these are all the assignments for Bible. Okay, so for the first portion of Bible class, they have the parent reading, and the parent reading for this particular day is Acts 1, 12 through, I think it's 26. So that's what you would read with your child, with your student, and that's just kind of, um, it's not a lot, it's a very little section, but that's the parent reading. And then at this stage, you can see that they have the students start reading themselves, which I think is wonderful, I think it's so great because kids really, I think there's so many wonderful things about kids getting in the Bible. Um, and kind of learning it for themselves. I just think it's great. So for the student reading today, Deuteronomy 30, 11 through 20. So again, it's just this little section here. It's not a lot of reading, but it's getting the kids familiar and used to the idea of reading the Bible themselves, which is really cool. So that's what they do with the Bible itself. Now, along with Bible, they're saying that we need to read day two, which is page 69 and 70 of the American Indian Prayer Guide. This is the American Indian Prayer Guide. And when you turn to that page, I'll show you how much reading it is. So you would read day two, which is this section here, all the way to here. So that's what they would need to read in that. And that is basically Bible class for them. There's also some memorization suggestions right here. You can memorize John 1, 1 through 3 this week. And you can see it's assigned the whole week. So it is the whole week. And also along with Core D, you get a CD. And there is a song. So track six on the CD is actually John 1, 1 through 3. So they even have a song that can go with it if you want to have your student memorize a song, which is also memorizing scripture at the same time. Or if your child learns better without the music, for whatever reason, you know exactly what, what they're to be memorizing this week. So that is all of Bible class for the day. Student reading, or I'm sorry, parent reading, student reading, American Indian Prayer Guide, and then the memory verse. Okay, so after we finish Bible, we're gonna go down to the history. As you can see, it says history, geography here. And for this day, we need to read from the beginners, the beginners American history. So this is what that book looks like. This is one of a few different history books that they have us going through this year. And they have the kids reading 136, starting here because we stopped here the previous day. So you start here, and then you're gonna read to page 142, which is all of this reading here. And it would have you stop right here before this next section. So this is what the history assignment would look like for this day from this book here. 
Okay, and also for History This Day, you can see here that it's the lap book kit. When it's kind of this faded font, that means it's optional. So this isn't a core requirement, but it is optional and it's available to you. If you're curious about what the lap book kit is and what it has inside, I have an unboxing video of this very kit um, on my channel. I'll try to put the link below so you can see that. But this week they have them working on activity 15, which is monarchy versus republic. So maybe you would spend 15 minutes or so working on this project if that's something you choose to do. But again, that's, that's optional. So after history and geography, you would move on to read alouds. And today we would be reading Johnny Tremaine, which is this book right here. So basically this day we would be reading chapter eight, part five. And then you would read all the way until you got to chapter nine through part one of chapter nine. That's what they have them reading today, which is basically to here. So you would start on page 204 and you would go until page 219. So that's how much you would read from Johnny Tremaine for this day. And this is, this is your read aloud. Also included in read alouds for this day is this book here called A Child's Introduction to Poetry. So you would read page um, 46 and 47 out of this book today. And this is um, gonna be about William Shakespeare, I believe. You'd be reading page 46 and also page 47. And that's what you'd be reading for the day from A Child's Introduction to Poetry. Okay, so after read alouds, we move on to readers. Now, you can see there's regular and there's advanced. So the regular reader's schedule is based upon, um, it's fewer books, basically, through the whole school year. If you choose the advanced readers, you'll get a few extra, and they'll kind of cram these books in here. So it's more reading every day if you do the advanced, but you also will get through more books. So it's up to you to choose which one you want. We chose the advanced because my kids just love reading. So. We are always up for more books. Today would be Phoebe the Spy, and we would read page 24 to 31 of this book. So if we look at that, you can get an idea of how much reading that would be. So here is page 24. And we'd read through to page 31. So this is where we would stop. And that's what would be assigned for this day for readers, Phoebe the Spy. Now readers are um, they're meant to be read by the student and then the read alouds are meant to be read all together. I have been doing a lot of audiobooks with the kids for both read alouds and readers. We just listen to them all together. Um, but you could, you could depending on which readers level your child is at, you could have them doing the readers independently if you want to. Just keep in mind that that's also an option as well. You wouldn't necessarily have to read this, but who wouldn't want to read this? Doesn't it look like such a good book? I can't wait to get to that book. So now we have finished the core for this day. We have finished our Bible history, read alouds, and readers. If you choose to do so, and I'm just gonna show you what Sunlight um, would, would suggest you do for the day, um, but obviously if you choose to go with a different language arts program, you'd have a different situation, and a different science program, you'd have a different situation. But if you were gonna go with Sunlight through all three different sections, then I will show you what that would look like. So if you choose to do Sunlight Language Arts, I'll show you what that would look like, and also Sunlight Science, if you choose to do that. Now, again, it's very flexible. You can choose whichever language arts program you want. You can choose whichever science program you want. I personally do not use all of this. I go a little bit, um, do a little bit on my own, kind of branch off a little bit, but for the most part, we do stay pretty consistent with sunlight. So let's look and see what they have for language arts for the day. So here, you can see they have nothing written here. It's, it's left open for you to fill in your own spelling program, which pages you wanna do that day if you wanna write it all down. This is Spelling UC, which is the program they suggest that you use. We have loved it this year. Um, and I do have a separate video. I'll put it in the links below if you're curious about this program more than I'm showing you. But for Spelling UC, it's pretty simple. It's um, the same thing every day. It's very simple. It's very easy for my children to do this on their own. It takes 
no supervision from me pretty much until they're all done. Then I'll go through and check it. But as you can see, for this section, what they're told to do is go through and find all the consonant chunks. So anytime you see CH or PH together. So they mark up their text here and then they do copy work. So this would be considered one day's worth of spelling in our house. Um, you can slow it down, you can speed it up, whatever you wanna do. But this would be considered one day's worth of work in spelling UC. Okay, after spelling UC, we have handwriting without tears. So this is the handwriting without tears workbook. And they do fill in the page numbers here for you. They do schedule it out for you if you wanna follow that schedule. I personally don't. I just have my kids do a little bit of um, handwriting every day. If let's say they're on this page, for instance, for the day, I would have them just do one page, maybe two pages if we're ahead of the game and we're getting stuff done quickly. Um, but honestly, I, I feel like one page is sufficient per day because my kids do writing in other books as well. It's not the only time they're writing. So that is what they do for handwriting. Okay, so for next, here's readers again, which we've already done. I'm, I'm not quite sure why they put this on the reader, on the language arts page and on the core page, but it's the same thing. So this is just the readers that we've already done. Um, then they have wordly wise. I do not follow their schedule though. I just have my kids do a lesson a day. So for instance, you would do, if they're on level, or if they're on lesson six, part B, then I just have them do part B for the day. The next day they would do part C. So I give them just one day's worth of work on inside this Wordly Wise book. Just one day's worth. Sometimes it's a page, sometimes, sometimes it's a page and a half. It just depends which lesson they're on. Okay, and then um, if you wanna do their creative expression, they do have worksheets that come with the language arts program. And I will show you one of them we do not personally do these, um, but I will show it to you just for the sake of you seeing this and for the sake of the video. So if you're following the worksheets that Sunlight has, you would do one section per day. So like maybe one day you do this, the next day you would do this, day three, and then day four of your week. That's the, the creative expression that Sunlight suggests that you do. We, um, in our house, we do a little bit different Gram we do some grammar, we do um, some different writing books and everything, so I don't follow the creative expression section of the sunlight schedule. But if you wanna know what it is, that's, that's what it is. Okay, so then if you choose to do the sci sunlight science for this particular day, they would have you use the Usborne Book of Knowledge. Here's the Usborne Book of Knowledge. This is the book they'd have you do for the day and they would have you read page 22 and 23, which are these two pages right here, all about ducks here. So this is what you would read for the day, and then right when you finish your reading, they have an activity sheet for you to do, and they would have you do number four through seven. So here's question four, five, six, and seven. And that's all you would do for that day. So these worksheets are basically a whole week's worth of questions. They don't give you the whole week worksheet for one day. So that is all that Sunlight requires in a day of school. If you were to follow Sunlight um, Core, Language Arts, and Science, that is what you're looking at as far as the workload goes. Um, if you wanted to add in, obviously, any types of electives, such as a foreign language, or if you wanted to add in, um, I don't know, I like to do a lot of practical classes with my kids, like cooking, for example, or sewing, or those types of things. You would obviously have to add it onto there, but this is what a day of sunlight core D looks like. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please let me know down below if it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to try and answer them for you. We have been going through this core um, this year with two of my daughters, and we are loving it so much. It's American history. It's been amazing and wonderful, and it's just been awesome. And if you enjoyed this video, would you please give us a thumbs up down below? And don't forget to subscribe so you can see all sorts of sunlight-related, homeschool-related, happy planner-related, <laughs> and really just all the fun stuff that we do here in our house. We would love for you to join our community, so please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye.